Hey friends, the day has finally arrived. Doom 2016 is released. This is great. This is a collector edition, man. This just came from Amazon. Super pumped about getting this. It has a cool little statue or some kind of surprises in here. Um, but before I open this, let me say that Doom, If for those who don't know, if going back in the day a little bit, Doom was like one of the original first person shooters. You know, great classic game, like going back to PlayStation 1. And really, PC is where this game was born, essentially. This is one of the first huge PC hits. And just, you know, this almost really spawned all of the different first person shooters as you know them today kind of came from this you know the halos the call of duties all that stuff battlefields they they all kind of came from doom and doom itself the original like the game itself was just you know going around shooting um you know different monsters essentially the storyline is there was like a rift in you know time and space between earth and hell and this marine kind of got trapped and sucked into it and he had to battle his way from hell you know supposedly back to earth and I don't know if you ever made it or not, I'll be honest with you, but Doom itself is definitely like a phenomenon because it's been around so long. And what's made it great was on PC, you could actually make your own levels. It was like one of the first big games where it came where you could actually design your own levels. So all these people, these users, these you know fans uh, put their heart and soul into it and actually made some awesome levels for Doom. And even musicians like, you know, like Nine Inch Nails, Trent Reznor, he made music for Doom. He loved it so much. He made a soundtrack for it. You know, so it's been really a classic game that has came out a few times. Doom 3 came out in the 90s, like 94 or so, and it was okay. But the thing about Doom 3 was the fact that what made Doom great was is one of those games where you'd be like walking around and shooting things, and all of a sudden you'd flick a switch, and the walls would drop, and there'd be like a million monsters. It'd be like frightening, you know? And one thing about Doom 3 is that they kind of made a little mistake where they wanted the graphics to look super high-res and pretty, and they did for the time. But the problem is that they only had like one or two monsters on the screen at any given time. And that kind of like made it feel a little bit lackluster compared to like Doom 2, you know. So hopefully with Doom 3, um, they learned from their mistakes. And so for this new Doom, they're just calling it Doom, not Doom 4. For Doom 2016, hopefully they've learned from their mistakes and actually will have, you know, lots of monsters on the screen at one time. Because honestly, that's what made it a good time, you know. But anyway, check out the retail packaging. This is the Collector's Edition, as you can see. Collector's Edition. And it's pretty big, man. Um, looking at the size of this, um, it was came in a huge box. And the box itself stands about a foot, uh, about 14 inches tall. And it is about 10, 11 inches wide. So pretty big box. And so I'm expecting some cool stuff in here. I believe there's like a statue or something. But the box itself, you can see, has like cool symbols. Oh, it tells in the back here. Let's check this out. Okay, so on the back here, there's a 12-inch figure. Now, some of the stuff I got to warn you, like this thing could be kind of scary. So, like kids watching or whatever, like this is um, could potentially frightening. It's meant to be like a scary game, you know. So, anyway, there's a scary monster here with big guns on his uh, shoulders. And I guess you get the game. Uh, let's see what comes in here. 12-inch... Uh, LED lit base, uh, slow spinning uh, statue, a steel book metal case, and the game itself. So, pretty cool little collector's edition. Photos make it look really super creepy and frightening. You can see, very, very scary stuff. And um, we'll go ahead and open this up and see what we have. Now, I think there's like tape here, it looks like. So, we'll go ahead and try and carefully open this up. Let me grab a little knife here. And we'll open this collector's edition for you. So if you're on the fence of buying the collector's edition or not the collector edition, you can check this out. Now it does come on console too. Now a lot of people love this on PlayStation. So I would say that even though it's available on PC, if you have like an older PC but like the new PS4 or whatever, you might very well want to pick it up on PS4 or Xbox One first over PC. Just because your PC may not have the requirements needed to actually play it good. All right, let me see. I'm trying to pull this off, and it looks like it looks like this cover should pull off. It does. Let's see what's under the cardboard cover. It's very tight. I don't want to rip it. I'm trying to see if I can gracefully open this. Ooh, look at that. Looks very scary. Wow, I'm having a really hard time pulling this out. Let me see if uh, there's some tape or something, maybe. Or I guess it's just very tight. It's actually kind of starting to rip a little bit. Hopefully I'm not going to destroy this. Hmm, wow. This is definitely uh, a bit of a problem, guys. 
Now, Doom was like a great game. Back in the day, um, I used to go to a cyber cafe and play multiplayer competitive Doom. And um, it was a lot of fun. Wow. This is really hard to get out of the case. Um, hmm. I am at a bit of a stuck spot here. Let me try and try it this way. Ah. Alright, you know what? We're going to try it the other direction. Maybe it will come off better this way. Oh yeah, look at that. There we go. Alright, so it likes to come off the bottom, not off the top. Okay, so on the inside here, you can see this is just like a cardboard cover that comes with it. It goes around the box, as you can see. It has some cool artwork and stuff on it. it. talks about the game, figure, this type of stuff. Cool little Doom. Okay, the box itself, very cool. We have the skeleton guy on the outside here. Then the little symbol, another skeleton guy. And that is the box. The bottom is just brown or black. And let's go ahead and open up the top here. This box is almost too big to, for me to shoot in this workspace, so I apologize if uh, the camera's a little bit closed so the angle's not good. Warning. Uh-oh. Fragile. Remove product carefully. All right, hopefully it's okay. Ooh, look at that. Nice. Okay, so we, inside here we have the Doom metal case. I've always loved these metal cases. It's a great way of keeping them collectible. I know some people have problems, um, people who have collections like me, big collections, because they sit a little bit different, a little bit different height-wise. But I just like them because they stay nice, they don't fade as much. They're just It's a great way to keep your game nice and secure. And you can see this has a very scary uh, monster here on the back and the front. Very cool Doom word in metal. Now I'm going to open this here. I think there's code, so I have to be really careful because I need these codes to play the game. Oh, but you can see inside here there is a Doom Season Pass sheet here. And I'm not going to show the code. And then here's a Doom another a code on the back side, I believe. Yes, another code. And this right here is a little book that talks about the keystrokes um, of the game on PC. So you can see that there. But on the back has a code, so I can't show it. So a lot of codes in here, guys. I apologize for that. And of course, here's the game itself on a single disc. Compared to Doom 3, that I think it was like three discs. And there's some cool artwork here behind the actual plastic uh, translucent inside sleeve. So very cool. So that's what you get inside there. Cool little collection. Really nice box. Love the, love the metal boxes. Big fan. Spooky. Okay. So here is the figure. Let's take a look at this. Let me try and be really careful about this. I think there's some tape. Or no, no tape. Just, just tight. All right, there we go. Oh my God, this thing is scary. Look how big this is. Oh my gosh. Ooh, it has a very plasticky smell. Oh my gosh, that is so scary looking. Wow. It has a super duper plastic smell. Like I'm getting like, it smells like, like model paint or something. Like, maybe it's freshly painted, I don't know. Check out how scary that is. Oh my god. If I have nightmares tonight, I'm going to blame Doom. Really good detail on this thing. Um, as you can see, it's one of the monsters from the game, which is kind of like a zombie skeleton. And you can see his eyes are all bulging out and teeth. Really nice sculpt on this. Like, a lot of detail work. I mean, from different little things. Muscles, veins, little cybernetic like little things implanted in him. His arms, little tubes. Very cool. I think these are like little respirators for like lung action going on. Looks like that might light up or something there in the center. I'm not sure. This side here, lots of so much detail, man. I mean, from like the paint job to like the little bones. Like look at the hip action there. Very, very, very detailed work. Down here at the feet, he's got some big old gray nails on him. And the base is kind of interesting. It looks like... um. It's kind of like a lot of little white marks and stuff. I don't think it's supposed to be a symbol or anything. And maybe the paint just kind of turned out that way. It looks like maybe there's a fan on the inside as part of it. 
so maybe it blows up or something. It's very interesting, there's a fan on the inside. I don't know if you can see that or not, but um, there, it looks like there's actually like a huge computer fan or something on the inside here, and I don't know if this takes batteries or not. I think it does. Uh, let me see here, there's probably a switch somewhere. It probably does not come with batteries. I'm checking out all the sides here. That looks like this is the little battery compartment there, though. And where is the switch? It's down the switch. Well, you know, I might just have to check out the instructions on this. I will be right back. Okay, got a little screwdriver here, and we're going to take a look here at the statue. Now, when handling this, I'd be really careful. It's very delicate. I mean, it feels strong, but I don't want to pick it up by the arm and break it. Uh, but you can see if you hold by the base here, there's a little thing on the bottom here. And we're going to go ahead and open this up and see if it takes batteries. Yep, looks like it takes two triple A's. All right, we'll get some batteries for this. Okay, so we got two triple A's here. And we'll go ahead and stick the batteries in. These are kind of like cheap dollar store batteries, so this may have better results with like energizers or something I'll buy for it later, but this is all I had laying around, so these are like off-brand batteries. Okay, we tightened up the little thing here, so you can see that's nice and flush and tight now. But uh, let me see here. Oh, okay, something's going on. There's like a little bit of spinning action here on the base, like kind of like a big air vent, and then it has red lighting. I'm going to go ahead and load, dim the lights here so you can see what this looks like in the dark. It looks very creepy, though, from my perspective. Okay, we're back. And you can see there's some very cool red lighting in here underneath him. So it kind of like, I think it's like a computer fan, essentially, uh, below here. So it looks like he's kind of like walking over a vent or something. And so the red light's flashing through the, the fan and kind of is flashing on him, which is pretty cool, man. He's a definitely a scary warehouse kind of thought uh, look to it. I kind of thought originally maybe something would happen up in here in the, the guns or something. Like there might be some kind of lights or something, but there does not appear to be any kind of like light or sound action in the figure itself. It's just the lights in the base, which is still really, really cool though. Let me get a close-up shot of this. Let me pull this up here a little bit so you can kind of see there. Hopefully the, the room here has some light, so it would look probably better in the complete dark. But you kind of get an idea what that's all about. So there's like a fan and some lights, and it kind of shines up to him. So very, very creepy, man. Um, very cool figure. I'd highly recommend picking this up. Here, let me turn the lights back on. Okay, guys, so there you have it. This is the Doom Collector's Edition for the 2016 brand new Doom that just came out. You can pick this up. This is actually kind of hard to get a hold of um, on Amazon. They were sold out and they had a waiting list for more and I got my name on the list. And actually I did get it on the actual release date, which is pretty cool, even though it's supposed to be delayed for a couple days according to an email I got. But very cool figure. If you're into Doom, if you're into classic like video game figures and things, this is kind of scary looking as you can see, but um, it's really cool too at the same time. It's a great collectible. And you can get this on Xbox One, PlayStation 4, or PC. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you're into any kind of games coming out soon. And we have lots of cool stuff coming up, uh, including some Pokemon and much, much more. So we'll talk to you soon, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.